just are something that we may have or we know someone that have them. They are common, but what are they and how should we be treating them? My name is Dalia Masood and I'm a plastic surgeon and we will discuss four things cysts. Everywhere online we see pimple popping videos, but when it comes to cysts, all that squeezing is likely not to get rid of the cyst. To understand the treatment, we first need to understand what a cyst really is. Our skin has tiny pores. They create dead skin cells and oils. These pores are crucial for maintaining healthy skin and hair. But when one of these pores gets blocked, things start to build up. The trapped material, oil and the skin cells and the debris, start stretching the pores open and the sac slowly grows. Over time, the wall of these blocked pore or sacs thicken under the skin and they fill with this cheesy yellowish substance. When you squeeze the cyst, you're just pushing out this contents. That's why you see all that satisfying gunk coming out. But what you're actually doing is that you're not removing the sac, you're just removing the contents of the sac and leaving the lining or the sac behind. So you're really just deflating it. If the cyst is new or small, it might just shrink away. But if it's been there for a while, that sac is likely to fill right back up again. It's like popping a balloon but leaving the empty bag behind. It can flow back up later. The best and the most reliable way to treat a cyst is surgical removal. This involves removing the entire sac along with the small entrance to the pore, which is often seen as a black dot on the skin. It's a minor procedure done under local anaesthetic, meaning you're awake, but the area is numb. The cyst is replaced with a scar, and like any surgery, there's always a small risk of infection, bleeding, or scarring. Now, if you decide not to have a cyst removed, that's okay too. A cyst left alone is usually not dangerous. It may slowly grow or stay the same size, but occasionally it can get infected, becoming red, painful, and swollen. If this happens, we'll need to wait for the infection to settle down. You may need some antibiotics. And once it's settled down, then we can consider removing it. We need to ensure that the active infection area is over. If you remove it while it's still infected, you're more likely to have complication. So if you've been regularly squeezing your cyst and it just feels empty, what do we do? Well, we can still remove it. We'll have a chat to decide what the likelihood is for it to return. If there's a strong chance it will refill, it's best to remove the sac before it does. So with regards to the surgery, it's usually fairly straightforward. The whole procedure takes about 30 to 45 minutes and you'll go home on the same day. Just avoid any heavy lifting or bending over or stretching while the area heals, particularly in the first one or two weeks. Now, if you've got a cyst and want to talk about treatment, come and see us and we'll walk you through the process and help you decide what's best for you. Remember, satisfying as popping may be, true treatment means removing the sac. Don't just pop it, get it properly treated. If you want more information on skin health tips, drop us a question and like and subscribe. Bye.